Hi guys and dolls of YouTube land, that's Alan Smith coming at you. What it is is I don't like I don't like doing these videos. The reason why I don't like doing these videos is because something was brought to my attention. And the reason why it was brought to my attention is because a certain person's channel is very dear to my heart and the person I tend to be in the same auctions as and I actually support this person's channel and I had the other night I had a message which was sent through messenger and a certain person asked me to comment to his last video and I didn't know what it was concerning because the person was very distraught about it and things didn't make sense to me and when I went to the video and what I seen on the comment, then I understood what was going on. And the video on it was a 25 cent piece Canadian, which is, as you can see it back to front, is found it buried. And as I'm looking at the comment, I sees on the comment from some other person who I don't even know I don't know if it's a secondary channel or whatever and it had on it why do you not send stuff out that you've either sold or gave away to other people now, I'm going to put it as clear as I possibly can and I'm going to say it so that everybody understands. When you send goods out, it's basically that you send it out on post office to go to certain party said person whatever you want to explain it and when it goes in postal services hands they are supposed to take care of it but as it's traveling through the processing department as in the machine it can get caught or snagged when it gets caught or snagged in the machine, they unjam the machine and the item is taken out and the way it's supposed to be get treated is it's supposed to go into a plastic bag and said that the item has got damaged. But the item is supposed to be put out as into the said person it's supposed to go to. Because they're handling so many packages per day, they put it in a, a bucket and sometimes it's forgotten about and the reject or the item is supposed to be bagged, tagged and then put at the end of the machine which is because it, it's basically like a reject shoot but not all the time it's done because of they have three shifts going in and out the processing centre and things get lost and when things get lost people then think that the person hasn't sent the goods out. Now, if 
something goes missing. I feel that all you have to do to that person is go to that person you've dealt with and you send them an email and say the reason why I put in George's video one before that was because I work with said people as in when I'm buying stuff off them and I'm honest as in the days as in I'm very honest if I don't receive an item I will say I have not received an item and I will not have a go at that person I will not be complaining I will not be moaning to that person I am only putting it to their attention of saying that I haven't received goods and it's basically so that I can get an outcome of what they feel should be done. Whatever the outcome of that person, that is their prerogative. And usually if they are a very good person, as in and have a heart of gold, like George has, they will fix it or they will do what you call as in half a refund or certain things but it's up to their decision but this carry on is coming a nightmare because as in all people are doing is creating drama on said channels and it gets very upsetting and very emotional and it causes a rift in the community. The only way that it will stop, the rift will stop, is for people not to keep doing it and keep going at each other. If you're owed items and you haven't received it, then contact said person that it concerns. Either by email or privately done if you cannot get it resolved as in the person will not speak to you or will not respond then only then you put it out in air and you be diplomatic about it do not get everybody else involved and then it causes a rift within the community and the reason why I'm putting out this video because it was disheartening that George was upset and I wanted to comment to that said comment and I said on it what I had to say, say. and George turned around and said thank you George is an awesome person George will fix the problem out. George will not shy away from the problem, but I didn't want to put as in George in a predicament. Because to me, me saying George's name, that feels as if I don't know how to put it into words. Because I think I think think George is a very awesome person and he has a heart of gold on him. I have never had a problem with George and I haven't got a problem with anybody in the community. But I know that things go wrong and it causes problems but I get fed up with the drama. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I think it needs to be put out there. It wasn't George's fault. It was probably Postal Services because once George puts it in Postal Services' hands, he has no control over it. The same as when I send stuff to other people. But if I forget to send a parcel, I usually tell them, I usually tell people, look, 
I have still got your parcel. I will be sending it at a later date. Because I try and wait until I have so many packages to do and then I put it out because it is a lot of money's worth. The reason that it's so expensive is because we put a tracking number on it and the reason why we put a tracking number on it is because it means then you, you have an acknowledgement of a tracking number which then you know that the goods were sent. And that's all I have to say about it. So thank you guys for taking the time and thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye.